If any of you has a dispute with another, do you dare take it before the ungodly for judgment instead of before the Lord's people? Or do you not know that the Lord's people will judge the world? And if you are to judge the world, are you not competent to judge trivial cases? Do you not know that we will judge angels? How much more the things of this life? Therefore, if you have disputes about such matters, do you ask for a ruling from those whose way of life is scorned in the church? I say this to shame you. Is it possible that there is nobody among you wise enough to judge a dispute between believers? But instead, one brother takes another to court, and this in front of unbelievers. The very fact that you have lawsuits among you means you have been completely defeated already. Why not rather be wrong? Why not rather be cheated? Instead, you yourselves cheat and do wrong, and you do this to your brothers and sisters. Paul is very mockingly rebuking the Corinthians. As Christians, we are the ones who should judge other Christians, at least for disputes and trivial cases. From what we can gather from these verses, it seems that the Corinthians were taking insignificant issues and taking each other to court. Maybe things like, this man came to my house and begged for food and wasted my time. I demand compensation. Or a more modern example, I'm grounded. You're taking my friend from me? All right, I'll see you in court. Issues that don't need to be taken to court, but they were for one reason or another. Rather, what they should have done was to resolve it amongst themselves rather than from those whose way of life is scorned in the church. Because who else knows the ways of a Christian better than a Christian and as ones who will rule the world and angels? As a Christian, we are to love our neighbours as ourselves. And the very fact that we have lawsuits among us means we have been completely defeated. Instead of cheating and doing wrong, we should show compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness and patience. Jesus said, if anyone slaps you on the right cheek, turn to them the other cheek also. And if anyone wants to sue you and take your shirt, hand over your coat as well. Paul reinforces this, suggesting to us to be wrong and be cheated, rather than cheating and doing wrong against our brothers and sisters. It's hard to do, especially in times like this, where the country is going into lockdown and everybody is on edge. There will be more wrongdoings by people. The world will call for you to retaliate. But remember, as a Christian, we are called to love one another. So let's put aside our little insignificant issues and love one another.